is this is a pick that can work and you can be aggressive with it early and it works well with the uh, level six here for Azir. But I'm very concerned about how we've seen Grizzly constantly be behind the play on enemy junglers. Canyon has been our, he was our number one in POG points because of his dominant performances. He's on the rail that has a lot of agency early. It puts you in a really positive position where if the game keeps playing on like this, as it's been going so far, D plus just kind of edging ahead, but not too much action, then I think D plus will be a lot more confident with the outcome. And that is the, the Merc treads, that money that you're talking about, that gold injection is so important. Zekka looking for an opportunity. Oh, yeah, Empress Divide is going to come down. There's the flash from Showmaker, the kickback from Grizzly, connects the Q, and Showmaker is dead. First blood goes to Grizzly. And finally, it does happen. Finally, they do. Oh, the area, but you can see Showmaker with no flash, so scared to step up. Oh, Xenoblade is going to connect. Grizzly is just going to get pounced on, and Showmaker collects it. That's that. that. Yeah, that's the Drake. Yeah, and then yeah. ultimately gets caught by a... Engage of the Leona, followed up by the Rel. Super easy pick, and that's the second Dragon going to D+. And you know, this was such a rough moment in the game. They look to try and get in here for the contest. They do have Magnet Storm back up and available once again. Showmaker towards that top side as Kana has teleported in. Canyon going to collect it very comfortably here as now Life is looking for death. Grizzly chases after him. There's the flash for the crash down from Canyon. The Q's going to land though, and Grizzly will be able to take down the AD carry. Still. DK, they're going to try and get out of here. The Q is going to miss, though, from Grizzly, and that might smell, spell his demise. Kana going to dive on top of him. Kingen, though, getting in amongst it, and Grizzly is staying alive. Another crash down comes in, and now the rest of the Ooh. team is here. The right of the Arcanes crashes down, and Grizzly will go, but it's still a one team fight here for Home Life Esports. They don't get the Herald, though, which I think is a critical factor. But what they, can they get of the Aftermath? Low health bars. They can look for more here. Big wave, Nar. Yeah, Life is going to get underneath this turret. There is the pushback, though, from Kana. Really beautifully done. Kellen going to flash to try and get on top of Viper, but the Feather Storm is there. Still, Kellen underneath this turret is so close to death, and Zekka is going to be able to lock him down. Home Life Esports, huge team fight. The mid lane, and then guarantee control around the Dragon. Uh, Zekka going to trade it, though, and first turret was still on the cards, and that is going to go over to Hummer Life Esports, so a bit of extra gold as Kingen still pushing in to grab this Drake. It's now down to 4,000. Full information now as Canyon dives into the pit, but he's kicked out. The headbutt comes through still. It's not going to stop him from stealing this one away. Let's see whether Canyon can make it out with his life, though, as the right of the Arcane doesn't quite do enough. Deft is ulted, but the rest of Hummer Life Esports look kind of scattered to the wind. Canyon will turn off the lights here with his control ward in a great position. He magnet storms over. Can he get the steal is the question. So many are dying as Canyon is untouched. And Death comes on over. Oh no, Hanwha Life Esports. That was not the play you were looking for. Summoner, so he's down sums, but he's got enough control of the map where it might not matter. Yeah, it's almost like a layering of really rough stuff. Grizzly? Speaking of which, Grizzly going to get stunned up. The chain CC kind of working out as look at these Arcano Pulses. There's the right of the Arcane. He's going to have to move left of the Arcane. There it goes. And all oh, the last oh. one's going to do it. Oh, the buffs to Zerath really Thanks, coming Jimmy. in close. Showmaker's bought the Magi's. Like, he knows what's going on in this game. And even oh, if oh, here it God. is. Oh, Viper, the DDR, is it going to come through? Decides to go for the two-for-one special in 10 seconds time, and Hummer Life Esports are grouped, trying to actually get there. No one in the side lane on d Plus's side. Uh -oh. And Canyon is just going to dive in on top of them. Oh, my goodness. Deft is going to ult as well. Grizzly trying to get out of there, but now Kingen going to come forward. Kana gets rid of him. Zekka does find a decent ultimate, and now Deft is down to his GA. Life now looking for him here as this fight is not over yet. Still, Canyon going to get booped away with the headbutt. And D+, plus, they lose Kana, and no one is dead on Hummer Life Esports' side. Def now trying to find an opportunity. The Pulverize is massive, but he's still going to go down. But the Zeri is going to die as well. They take down one, but they're not going to find more. And right to the Arcane, didn't connect from Showmaker. And then suddenly Def is going down to his GA. Zekka's on a flank, and Hummer Life Esports just picked them apart. All right, so that's Baron here. And, and like you say, well, we'll see what's going to happen. Who's more necessary, the Zerith? Or this nah, as this could come down to another smite fight. As now, Death is going into the back line, and Death, he's surviving for a long time, but it doesn't work out because Viper's there. He pulls back the feathers. Kana's not going to be able to do anything, and this will be Hummer Life Esports from the jaws of defeat, snatching away victory here in game number one. Unless 
There is some sort of massively heroic defense, but I just don't see it. I don't think they can do it. You know, they have the super minions coming in. Actually, not on this wave, will be later, but either way, there's enough members to defend. Showmaker can't step up. This should be it. It looks like oh, it is going to be it. And Hanwa just catching D plus unawares, winning one fight. And then they take the Baron, they set up the map perfectly. And if you can't poke anybody while you're trying to get on top of Elder, those Baron buff minions will win the game with a NAR split pushing. And so they have.